Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Finally, Samsung has rolled out Android Pie update for Samsung Galaxy J8. So from a very long time there was some speculation that we will get Android Pie update for Samsung Galaxy J8 on April this date, April that date on so on. On yesterday they finally rolled out and today we are going to install it for this. We uh, we have a full we are going to shoot this full fledged video. So let me go to system update. So we were just checking it before that's why it's been in pause state. Now I'm just going to select on download but before that let me brief you that whatever uh, like things have been added to this particular update. So according to their uh, release note they have added Android Pie update uh, with the one UI update uh, because earlier it was experience Samsung experience uh, UI uh, been provided with uh, being shaped or provided with the Samsung uh, Galaxy J8 series. Now with the Android Pie update, it will be rolled out to one UI. So these are the various things that how it will change in terms of notification settings. Then what would be the changes in phone, contacts, gallery, and so on. And if someone wants to read the full-fledged release note, then they can uh, click on here. So this will be the other part when we will like we'll install it and if we want to explore the new features. But before that, uh, we have to download this update and it's showing nearly about 1200 MB update that is 1196.98 MB. So we are going to install it. It will take at least 10 minutes to download it. So let me just select download button so that it can start the download process. So now uh, this particular update will be seed from the server to our machine, uh, sorry to our phone. So now you are able to view it that it's been downloading. We'll again come back once the download update will go, uh, will be in the range of above 90%. So finally the update has downloaded nearly about 95%. So we are just on the verge of downloading it. So finally, it has been downloaded 100% now. It will be doing some integrity checks at the background whether the downloaded file is being the completed one without the corruption and so that, so on, so that it should not break our phone while the installation process and uh, does not go into the endless loop of rebooting and so on. So now, finally, the uh, <coughs> update has been downloaded on our phone and now it's been saying that uh, with this update you will be finding this and this and it's asking whether to install now, install overnight, later and so on. But we'll click on install now. Now it's doing some background tasks. So most probably within a one minute it will be go into the reboot section. So now the update has been started to prepare. Uh, the changes with the latest uh, downloaded update. So I think it will take one to two minutes. Hopefully with this update there will be less bugs because in the past we have seen that when uh, Samsung has rolled out the one uh, like one UI or Android Pie update for the J6 handsets. So they were facing few of the uh, problems. So finally the phone has been rebooted you are able to view the login screen. Now the actual installation process will start. So voila, we are on the installing system update screen and now it has just re, uh, re, like started the process. We'll again come back once we will reach nearly about a 90% threshold mark. So finally the update has been downloaded 100, 100% now again it has been rebooted now within few minutes we will be able to log in uh, with the new android pi update and we'll review the changes as well so finally we are on a boot screen i think hardly it will take one minutes to goes back to the login screen because at this moment the updated system will be doing again the background checks like whether the phone has been updated successfully or not so that it should not again goes into the boot loop or some sort of bricked state. So these are the regular tasks being done by the uh, like OEM to see whether the up update has been seeded properly and installed on your system or not. 
so sometime it takes more than one or two minutes according to your data so uh, it, it's because they have to again uh, uh, copy the data from the temporary file to your uh, actual folders or storage and so on so now phone is being in updation pro uh, mode I think there is some sort of the video is not able to capture it properly because it's been mentioning phone is updating its optimizing apps uh, this number for, from this number we'll again come back once this particular updation process will be done so we are again on a very last stage where phone is been updating or optimizing apps which were already installed whether be it system apps or the apps customs or the custom apps being downloaded by us uh, from the play stores and so on so it has almost optimized all the app now i think again either it will reboot or again moves to the login screen so it will hardly take 10 to 15 seconds more So voila, we are finally able to uh, update our phone from Android Oreo 8.0 to Android Pie 9.0 with the one UI. So even you can now see the icons have been changed. Earlier it was something else, now it's showing Pie and so on. So various other things will be going on in the background that it has been installing the update. So now it's been saying installing application. Again, this is a part of uh, OS upgrade. So I might have uh, disabled few of the apps. Now it will be again added to our uh, phone again uh, from the Samsung with this particular Pi update. And this is again a, uh, like st in, uh, industry standards. So let's say Samsung might have been collaborated with some other brands like you have to uh, install few of our apps during the installation process and so on and this is again a revenue sharing process so it will take some time to install those apps and so on so finally those apps have been also <coughs> installed on our phone now this is all about the one UI this is the quick setting so it has also up upgraded yes so finally we have upgraded to android pi update again uh, the system is again into the fin finishing like it has been finishing that system update section so it will again take some time but just for the verification part let's move to the setting section so let's move to the setting section now even they have changed the settings page as well i think it's because of white background you you will not be able to view it properly let me try to see it otherwise i'll have to see where that dark mode is so let's go to about phone uh, software information then so finally we are on android pi on galaxy j8 and so on Now let's see how those recent apps have been going. Let me open something else as well. Uh, just to view the recent settings have been working properly or not. So it's really nice. It's been always recommended, it's, I won't say recommended, but it's always best that Samsung always provide a very uh, linear set of software updates. With the each and every major update, we do see some sort of changes which are not being visible in terms of stock Androids or Android One phones because sometimes a person gets bored using those stock Androids or Android One, uh, like uh, the phones which are under Android One. So these are the settings section and so on. Again, it's been asking, I think they're, they're okay. So now it's been the button order as well that you can order the buttons and so on either you can reset it i think it would be on the basis of long press that i i can move here and there and so on so 
so we'll again come back with the anti2 and geekbench uh, benchmark scores uh, with respect to the the performance on oreo and after upgrading it on pi so uh, we'll update you accordingly <clears throat> in the this side from 24 by 7 everything hope you like this video if you like this video kindly share it with your friends and family and if you if you really want to see more videos from our side it will be really appreciated if you can subscribe to our channel as well thanks for now bye